Hey, hey guys, Brian Parnell here. Hope you're all well. Um, enjoying your summer vacations, and or if you've already been on them, hope you had a really lovely time. Now, I've had quite a few emails asking me how I put the emojis into my emails. Emojis are these little emoticon things here. So I've got like little traffic lights coming on there. Um, just before I show you how to do that, um, not that you fuckers have bought anything m <laughs> this much recently from my emails, but um, the um, click-through rate on my emails has shot through the roof since I've been adding these emojis in. And to be honest, um, I've been meaning to do it for a while, but I just keep on forgetting when I send out an email. And um, yeah, just just one of those things. And then um, I got an email from somebody I forget who now saying that you know they've got higher click-through rates by putting emojis into their titles. So. I thought, oh, you know, since I've got this um, Google Chrome plugin, I've been meaning to do it. Um, and the whoever it was that said about the emojis, we're only using black emojis, whereas the emojis that I'm using have come over as colour, and that's just really awesome. Um, and the click-through rates are, are up, so, you know, that's great. Um, and just so you know, um, the reason I email quite a lot is that when I don't email for a while, it takes my list a while, my list as in you guys, to start clicking my emails again. Okay, so, and there's a big truth, I don't know if truth is the right word, but, you know, the more you hear from me, the more you open my emails. If you don't hear, me, hear from me for two, three weeks, then when I do send an email, and I've tested this, I've been, I don't know if you, you know, if you notice, but sometimes I don't email, and I leave it, and then I start emailing again and see what goes on. And the more I email, the more my emails get opened. Okay, so that's why I email more. I suppose it's more. It's I'm still I'm more in the forefront of your mind when I email more. Um, I don't I fully get why that is, um, but you know that that is the case. Um, by 50% to 100% more people open up my emails when um, I email more. Um, so anyway, so that that's the reason I've been testing it actually for I don't know you <laughs> some of you've been on my list for you know over three years four years, um, and you'll see that there'll be times when you know I might email once with it once a month and do that for like six months and then I then you know then start slowly emailing again and that's when I see you know <laughs> and sometimes it takes quite a while to get people reopening my emails so um, but once they are. The way to keep people keeping in keeping me in the forefront of their mind, and yes, to buy affiliate offers, but also you know when I send out other stuff like what I'm doing right now, um, and I don't do it as frequently as I want to. Um, I have got my fingers in so many projects that the little free bits of tips and stuff that um, I was doing are you know going away a little bit, and that's purely because. You know, I've got a load of stuff that I'm doing with Amazon. Um, I've got quite a few Amazon clients now that um, I own a third of their company because I have been. Uh, I've, I'm basically. Oh God, one guy was selling like ten products a day. He's now selling two hundred products a day. That is the impact that I've had on their Amazon business. Um, they're not all like that. That is just a. You know, that is one of my. Um, you know, big success stories, but. Because of the stuff that I do, it costs quite a bit of money to be able to do everything that I'm I'm doing in the back end to help get that drive those sales. I either charge them or I own a um, percentage of their business, and I've also now moved my tactics from Amazon over to eBay, and I've got the guys to I've got my um, customers or my business partners, I suppose they're business partners, to open up eBay stores and Shopify stores. It's not working in Shopify so much just yet, but I'm driving the traffic via Facebook and getting sales and we do it using sneaky little tactics within Facebook that, not sneaky little tactics, the tactics that, you know, you give away an offer for free and they just pay, you know, five ninety nine, four ninety nine, nine ninety nine for shipping, but it's getting people over to our store and then I'm getting retargeting pixels and then retargeting them with our new products and all that kind of stuff. But it's working, it's doing... Um, it's doing really, really well. But there's so many things that I'm testing, it's really hard for me to come out and give free tips because 
you know, I've got my SEO business, I've got my local marketing business, I've got my affiliate marketing business, and then, you know, my coaching business, and then I've got this Amazon e-commerce monster that, you know, and for all of these things to always work, you've always got to be testing new new things to see, you know, to make sure that everything, you know, what once worked last week works this week. And, you know, so I'm trying to keep, I've got all these plates spinning. Um, so, yeah, I make no apologies for it because once I've got to a point where everything starts to settle down, I can start giving you, you know, free hints and tips and stuff. And, yeah, that's, you know, it's just, just it is where I where I am where I am I, it is it, it is what it is that's what I meant to say anyway so back to this um, so to put these in here okay it's really really simple I've got a chrome plugin it's called emoji input by emoji stuff.com so if you just go into I'll just do it go to chrome add-ons I can't remember if it's chrome add-ons or chrome plugins now um, go to the chrome web store And if you just type in emoji, it's going to think about it, and there's the one. Okay, that's the one I've got. But you know, there's loads here that you can mess around with. Um, I just wanted an extension, so this I just went for the top one, and that was the top one at the time. Um, and that's that, right? So then, if I go back to a Google search page, let's just go back here. And then, you know, when you're in your autoresponder or whatever, go over to here, even Facebook, Twitter, this kind of stuff works in all of those. And you come down, and these are the emojis. Type on that, click on that, click on that. Sometimes it automatically fills the field, other times it doesn't, so I don't know why that is. Click on copy. I'm just going to paste it in here just for argument's sake. And you can see it's actually come up here into the, the address bar. Um... And, and that is it, guys. So it's emoji input from emojistuff.com. And that's how you add in your emojis into your titles and stuff. And it has increased my click-through rates by about 25%, which is, I think, is pretty fucking awesome, to be honest. All right, guys. All the best. Um, I will probably be sending out some emails before I go. Um, the first week of my vacation, I am going to be... Um, lining up some emails for a really cool tool that is going to be coming out that I believe every marketer needs um, but after that you won't hear from me for a while and that's because I've got a three week vacation with my family and I have promised them that there is going to be no work um, so we're going to go to Disneyland in Florida for three weeks well two weeks for Disneyland and Universal Studios and all that and then a week just just relaxing and then um, at the coast but um yeah I've had to uh, I've had to turn a few people down who've asked to meet up with me while I'm away and reason for that is because I've promised my family that it is just a family holiday and you know trying to reach out to people and meet up with people takes me away from the vacation and trying to make sure that I'm in a particular place at a particular time and I would be then be breaking my promise to my family so um, there's been quite a few people I've been speaking to that have said, oh, you know, I'll come and see you, I'll come and see you. And I've had to say, guys, I can't, you know, it, this is, if I hadn't made this promise to my family and, you know, I work until midnight every night. Um, yes, I pick my children, I take my children to school. I pick them up from school. But I know that mentally I'm not in the room with them. I'm always thinking about what I need to be doing for, for work and stuff. So this is a, you know, get there and be there for my family. But um, yeah, so I just want, if I don't email beforehand, uh, there is a great tool coming out at the beginning of August that I'm going to try and line up all the emails for in my autoresponder. But other than that, have a lovely, lovely summer until you know you and your families and everything go back to go back to school and college and whatever it is. And I will catch you probably the end of August. All right. But thanks for being a loyal subscriber of mine. Love watching people open the emails and you know yes, I promote stuff, but there's lots of stuff that I promote that I believe everybody needs. I wouldn't promote it if I thought it was just an absolute pile of poo. Um, and you know, I can see, I can, I can, I suppose my my problem is I can always see 
where something can be used in my business okay so I've got outsourcers that you know when I buy something I give it to them and say right go and you know play with that come back let me know what you think and then we work it into elements of the business whether that's you know building video sites for our PBNs and uh, private blog networks that is for helping for SEO or you know helping with our Facebook advertising retargeting assistance whatever it is just so you know guys um, I've read a couple of reports recently that re people who are doing retargeting are saying that they are getting higher conversions from their retargeting even higher than when they're so I've got so these reports were for, from businesses who are ranking number one for their main money keywords in the search engines that also use Facebook marketing and Google um, AdWords and they're saying that they are getting higher returns for their money invested on the retargeting. However, I always take that with a pinch of salt because to build the retargeting list up, you have to spend money in the first place because you need to be ranking number one and sending people to that, you know, when people land on that page, they then need to, so what happens with retargeting, sorry, I know this is a total diversion, this is absolutely um, what Brian does, but um, white whiteboard Let's see if, I can't even remember what whiteboard thing I've got um, um, online whiteboard there we go I think this is the one I use so lots of people have said you know they they're making more money from their retargeting which makes sense but if this is your landing page okay whatever your traffic source is over here whether it's paid for as in Google AdWords Facebook Twitter marketing you've got to pay for this traffic right even SEO isn't free unless you're really lucky so that traffic costs money and then it use, then they land on your website or your web page, okay? And you'll have a retargeting pixel just here, okay? And the retargeting pixel is just a little bit of code that when somebody lands on it, it fires and tells Facebook, Google, uh, perfect audience, ad roll, that somebody has landed on this page. And then it stores them, okay? It either stores them as a cookie or it stores them uh, with Facebook. It actually takes the Facebook user ID and puts them into a retargeting audience for you, okay? And then what people are saying is when they pr pr produce ads on the internet from the this audience that have land already landed on this page, they make more money. Yes, and that's true, and I'm seeing that as well. However, I'm still having to pay to get the traffic here in the first place, and I have not had the time to sit down and say, right, how much money does it cost to drive traffic to here and then retarget them, okay? But what we're doing with a lot of our business is that after they have landed on a page okay we will actually create an identical page that is not indexable is not indexable by the search engines okay and then drive that same traffic I mean the reta the um, this audience here this retargeting audience so you'll have another audience over here right that this page has generated and then we have an identical page to this over here, okay, with another retargeting pixel on it, which creates another audience. Okay, so we've got another audience here. Put an A in here for audience. Then, once they've landed on this page, a, at this exactly the same page, but different web property. Um, the content is exactly the same, just it'll be it's a different landing page, okay. Once they've been over here, then we start to give them offers, okay? Like dollars off or, you know, free consultation, whatever it is. So you've got your ad over here, okay, which gives an offer. And excuse the uh, writing because it's, it's a mouse thing, okay? All right. To, to that audience you offer an audience an offer this one over here converts like absolute
gangbusters. So they've already seen you twice. You know, they've, they've either whatever method you've used to drive the traffic, Facebook, P, um, Google AdWords, SEO, YouTube marketing, whatever it is, okay, they have then landed on your landing page. They know who you are. Then you retarget them, okay, and the people that are interested will click on it again. And when they click on it again, they see who you are again. So you're building your brand, you're building the awareness of who you are or what your business is. And then you make them an offer. So this is the third time they're seeing you, but you're now giving them money off or a free consultation, whatever it is. It works in every market. Boom. Then it, and it just converts like gangbusters. Okay. So anyway. Um, Wow, I was only going to give you a quick video to show you how to do um, the emojis. But hopefully this all makes sense. And yeah, I will catch you when I catch you. Cheers for now, guys. Bye-bye.